It's a lot easier to speak at the Capitol than people think it is. They do listen and it feels really good to know that you're making an impact in the field that you work in and that your voice matters. I think I made a difference. My son is in second grade and so he's looking for me to show up to make sure that his future is dependent on the decisions that we make today. Stand has showed me how much one group of dedicated, committed, passionate people can really make change. You never know if your words are going to be the make or break on a vote. At Stanford Children Colorado, we advocate for policy solutions focused on early literacy, high school success, and safe and supportive schools and communities. This year, we prioritize bills to ensure that our school leaders are trained in the science of reading, to remove barriers to expanding and diversifying our educator workforce, to fund Colorado schools equitably, and to update policies for safer and more supportive schools and communities. When Stan sets policy priorities, we really lean into listening to the communities that are gonna be impacted by those policies and the implementation of those policies. So making sure we take time to hear from educators, to hear from parents, to hear from community members, so that we know what those solutions should look like and what the problems are that they are facing on a daily basis. This session, educators, parents, and community members got involved by signing petitions, contacting lawmakers, and giving testimony at the Capitol. This year, I had the opportunity to show up for a legislation bill around school funding because I thought it was important for young scholars who are at risk to make sure that they were counted in the numbers, that they got the money that they needed in order to have an equitable education. I testified for Senate Bill 4, which was to bring science of reading training to administrators of kindergarten through third grade teachers. I testified for it because it's important that administrators and evaluators of kindergarten through third grade teachers who are trained in it have someone coaching them and evaluating them who also know the science behind reading and how to support their teachers, supporting their students in the development of their little readers. The bill was advocating for more transparency in school as far as discipline, because as we know, students of color are more likely to be taken out of class and they get school suspensions or expulsions. It was advocating for more transparency in school and advocating to make changes to the discipline protocol. And I wanted to testify, especially with my son, because that would hit close to home. It's important for the community to show up for the legislators to understand if you make this decision here's how it will affect me in my everyday life they need us to help speak to them through the bill what they see is on paper we're living it we're the truth we're the fabric of it and so for us the community it's important to go after some of these bills understand them and understand how it could and will impact us in policy making, it is extremely important to add the parent, the teacher, the student, all of these people into the discussion because it is their education system just as much as it is ours. It's really important that they hear from people who are living it out because being a senator on an education committee or representative is different than being in the classroom with the kids. And so they need to hear from the people who are impacted by it and how it impacts our lives beyond just words on a page. I would say be yourself. And even if what you have to say comes out kind of clumsy, like it's something that people need to hear. And maybe there's one lawmaker that feels a connection or maybe there's another parent that can relate to what you're saying and thinks like, okay, like how do I also get involved in this? I think it's important just take the first step. So I thought of coming along because I knew that it could help me like grow into learning how to testify for bills and to like help bring a better future to this country and the world. 
In Colorado, Stand for Children is gonna focus on implementing the policies that we passed this year to make sure those results reach our classrooms, reach our communities, and are felt by the families that helped us pass that legislation. You all made this happen. You shared your stories with reporters and encouraged others to engage. Thank you for standing for Colorado's students, educators, and families. All I can say, if you're unsure, do it. Give it a try. And I would say, just speak your truth.